out this early. I just want to say a quick shout out to our lovely Adrian, who is on the front lines as a nurse here in Palm Beach County. And she is actually with us live this morning. Yay, we love you, Adrian. And uh, thank you for all you do. So this workout will also be available to followers and studio clients so that if you can't catch me live this morning, it's all good. You'll be able to watch it. We're going to keep it up so you can have it on demand. Um, at least for the next week so that you can catch up with us. So, all right, are we ready? Let's go. Um, if you have a ball or a towel, especially my fifth-year-old back, there's some moves that you want a little extra support. You could always grab it if you have it. I have that in the description. Make sure you have some water near you. Take a drink when you need it. You know I never break or cue for it. So let's go, game on. Are we ready? We're gonna start with some jumping jacks. Michelle's gonna do the modified version if you don't wanna get all the way up. Let's go, 10 in each direction. Let's hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take a little turn, just a quarter to the rim. Here we go, halfway for five, four, three, two, one. Quarter turn. If you want your own music, go ahead and jam out to whatever you want in the background. Two, one, quarter turn. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to front, last one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right, our right, up just a little bit. Let's come on down to our mat. So we're going to work out our core warming up. We're going to move on to our biceps, triceps in the reverse order. So. Go ahead and take your back flat on the mat. Take your knees up to tabletop. Take a light grip behind. Exhale, roll yourself up, holding in your little V. So, pull that belly down into that mat. Roll the shoulders away. Take your palms face down. Pump, 10, eight, six, five. Hold, four, three, two. Hold here again for 10, nine, Shoulders rolled away. Don't forget to breathe. Have a slight touch to those hips. Hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. You thought I was going to stop. Ten. Three. Two. One. Don't go anywhere. Four. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Quick roll back. Light grip behind the knees. Exhale. Roll yourself up. Now. Michelle's going to stay modified in this tabletop position. If you want a bigger challenge this morning, again, roll those shoulders back. Keep a slight tuck to those hips. If you need that ball or towel taken, it's going to look like this. As we pump, we're going to straighten and tabletop. Straighten, tabletop, straighten, tabletop. You got it. You could always modify by staying back in that tabletop the entire time, warming up that core, getting that heart rate to stay a little elevated here. Don't forget to breathe for five, four, you got it, three, hang in there, two, and one. Light grip behind the knees, rock yourself down, rest your back, roll if your mat is thick enough, hold where you are. Light grip behind the knees, come on up, stay exactly where you are. You're going to take your palms down your mat. Make sure you don't press your palms straight to the mat, give yourself just a little bit of you have a grip here, so we're more in a claw position. Thumbs are right by the seat. Wrap those elbows in and around. You're gonna press yourself up, your feet are hip distance apart. If your seat is by your feet, keep yourself honest and try to get the seat a little closer to the hands. It's a little harder, and you're gonna get a little more benefit. Bending the elbows, here we go. We're gonna bend and press, bend and press. So be honest with yourself. We're not just throwing the seat down. The only reason the seat is even touching your mat is because the elbows are bending to the wall or the space behind you. That is why the seat is coming down. So a lot of times in class, I see students with their elbows locked and their seat is going up and down. Not what we need to be doing. Bend those elbows. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Hit the right eight. Just the right seven. You got it. Hang in there. For five, pinch that seat back close to those hands. For three, for two, for one, hit the left, bend left. You got it. 
deep in the bend. We're going to be out of here and relax those wrists. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give those wrists a little love. Waking everything up this morning. We're going to come down into your tabletop position. Let's start by diamonding. Diamond I can't even say that word. By making a diamond. There we go. Not enough coffee this morning. Out our hands. We're going to bring the shoulders right over those wrists, and we're going to walk our knees back. Tuck your hips in. Bring those heels to the seat. This time, our elbows wide for two. We're going to go down for two. Lift up for two. So it's really important here to protect our back. Make sure you're not arching that back. Keeping the belly pulling to the spine. Tucking those hips under. Three more at this pace. Elbows are wide, leading with the chest. One more. All right, you can stay in double time or single it up for eight. Here we go, down and press. Or go down for two if this isn't working for you this morning. Here we go, four more. For four, we're gonna hold in three, in two, one more single. Here we go. Can we hold to our lowest point? For eight, chin away from the chest. Five, four, three, two, one. I cheated. Came out a second early. Knees are wide. Fingers pulling away from you. Bringing that chest towards the mat. Keep that chin away from the chest. Don't forget to breathe. Awesome. Exhale. Come on up. So. We're going to go into our regular bicep work. We're going to start everybody on the knees. So we're going to once again line up those wrists underneath those shoulders. We're going to walk those knees back. We're going to tuck the hips under, bring the heels to the seat. This time our elbows are going to go wide out to the side. So the elbows out for two. You got it. Hang in there. Lead with the chest, nice and slow. Don't forget to breathe. Four more. Hang in there. You got this. Three. Good morning, body. Two. One. Can we single it up for eight? Seven. Hang in there. Come on. Six. You got this. If you want to go double time or take it slower, it's your practice, your choice. Last one. Hold it halfway. Hold it here for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, press back. You're welcome. <laughs> one more inhale. On your next exhale. Here's your choice. Michelle's going to modify and stay on her knees. We're going to do that for a second round. If you're feeling strong today, we're going to see how well I slept. Here we go. Take those hands wide. You can either stay on your knees or you can come up into that full plank. Make sure if you're here, we're not letting that back and hip sink. We're not sticking our butt in the air like down dog. We're really keeping everything engaged, wrapping everything in. Belly is pulling down. Just eight. Here we go. Down and press. For seven. For six. For five. Get on those toes if you're with me. Chin away from the chest. For two. And one. Nice work. One more child's pose. Bringing that chest down towards the mat. Breathe. Deep inhales through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. Come on up. Good work. All right. Shaking it out. Let's give our wrists a little love. You can bend your fingers towards the face. Make sure you do it on both sides. And then bring your fingertips down to your mat, pressing the back. Some people even like if your wrists are nice and flexible. You could rotate your fingers towards your body, just putting a little pressure and weight, just stretching out. It feels really good up the backs of those arms. Good. Keep breathing, keep working. So if you happen to have a set of free weights at home, you could always do your bicep curls, hammer curls, do your uh, presses, whatever works for you, if you have them with you. We're going to keep this as a no bar equipment because not many of you actually have equipment at home. But if you have it, you could always add on or do it. It's awesome. Um, Michelle sees me sometimes walking around here with my free weights uh, before recordings trying to get some in as well. Okay, so 
So, we are gonna start right away with some knee dancing. We are gonna sit on our seat to the heels. I want you to take a fist and you're gonna bring a fist between your knees. So we wanna have the knuckles to the sky. Put your hands on your hip and rise. Right, so it's really important here, we don't wanna stay completely vertical. So I'm gonna go sideways so you can see what I mean. Michelle is gonna face you and I'm gonna go sideways. So wherever you are, tuck those hips under. We wanna protect that back, keep it nice and flat. Some of us have water ski before, so what's that sensation? We actually come back. We're being pulled and we're holding on. This is the sensation I want. So Michelle's gonna stay with her hands on her hip. Everybody lean back. If you wanna bring your hands out like the water ski to help you keep you honest, you can. Here we go. We're gonna go back an inch, up an inch, back an inch, up an inch. So working the tops of the thighs, First, here we go, back an inch, up an inch, back an inch, up an inch. So an inch is super small, so we're not using that back to bring us forward and back. Everything's nice and control control. I want you to think about making the movement happen from the top of the thighs. Don't worry about roll it coming from the shoulders or the back. The movement is coming, put your energy on the tops of your thighs, squeeze the seat, squeeze everything to the middle of the body, so the inner thighs feel like they have magnets between them. Everything is staying nice and engaged. Good, all right, hold it back here. Tuck it out. All right, so think about doing a pelvic tilt or a pelvic lift here. You're bringing your pelvic bone up and under, squeezing the seat to the midline. So we've got our thighs in this nice isometric hold. Mine are already burning already, come on girls, let's go. Joe, I hope you're watching with us. Here we go, tuck that seat under. Here we go, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, we're not done. Hold it here, we're gonna circle, circle. As you circle, you're tucking those hips under as you hit 12 o'clock in front of you. Reverse your circle, lean back, don't cheat, you don't wanna be up here. Keep that isometric hold on those thighs for five, Four, one more change. Three, two, one. Last back inch for eight, seven. Hang in there. Six, you got it. Five, four, woohoo! Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out. <laughs> Grab a sip if you want. We're going to be mixing things up this morning because normally we exhaust our upper body with free weights in here. Even though they're light, we're going to be mixing in a lot of core, a lot of upper body in between different series with our legs and our thighs. But no rest for the weary, so come on up. <laughs> so wherever you are, I want you to think about, for some of you who've done spider with me, we're not coming into that. So here's, here's some health modification. If you happen to have a stool, a chair, a countertop, a bed post, Something that you can take a light grip. Michelle's gonna use the bar stool here in the studio as having a little something to hold on to. So if you want something to hold on to for your balance, take it this morning. I'm gonna not use anything. If you need it, there's never judgment. We can't see you anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and let's show you if Michelle's gonna take a light grip on our bar stool. Wherever you are, we're gonna take our legs prop. You're gonna turn your toes out 45 degrees. You're gonna deepen the bend. Think about bringing the pelvis down, it's being pulled down to the mat. Tap those hips under. Get those shoulders away from the neck. Get that stress out, that's why we're here to alleviate all the stress. Feet are flat. Down and up, down and up. So little pulses here. Keep that belly scooped out, keep those hips tucked, right? So as we're here, it's really important to keep that back nice and flat. I find a lot of us want to collapse here because we get tired. We want to roll those shoulders down, keeping everything nice and flat. So here we go, keep it down. If you want a little extra chest work, you can press those palms together and press as you pulse down. Just kind of engaging that chest here, little work. Keep it up for eight, seven, hang in there. We're getting ready to change. I want you to mentally click in. We're gonna need you for a little bit too. Hold it low, little pulse, pulse. So we're just pulsing here. Here, you got it. Don't forget to breathe. Good morning in our thighs. Here we go. 20 more seconds, we change. So we're gonna click in. We're gonna be here for a few minutes. You got this. You guys have all done this with me before. You have it. For eight, seven, six, here 
two, and one. Hold it here. Press the knees back. Press back. Press back. So I want you to think, you've heard me say this before. You want to think that if you could put your hands on your inner thighs or the outside or inside here of your knees, you're pressing everything back. So you're moving from the inner thighs. Don't cheat. Nobody's hot. Get yourself lower. Lower than you think you should be. Get low. You still want to make sure those knees are over those ankles, wherever you are. Getting ready to challenge. Four, three, two. Hold it here. Right heel up. Let's hit it. Let's go down and up. Down and up. You can do this. Here we go. Listen, if you're starting to shake, that's awesome. So envious, right? We want to get to a point where our legs are shaking, we're exhausting and fatiguing those muscles. Remember, little movements make big changes in the body. So we want all of us to shake. I always say, if I'm not getting Michelle to shake, I'm not working hard enough, right? So we really want to be shaking. Embrace it. That's where exactly where you want to be. Breathe. Don't stop if your legs are shaking. Don't stop. Don't give up. Don't collapse forward. Let's get those shoulders down. Hang in there. You got it. Hold it here. Little pulse. 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 For eight, seven. Hey, Linda. <laughs> Michelle wasn't coming this morning. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hold it here. Right knee press.
find yourself back with those knees hip distance apart. We're going to take our arms out to a T, make little fists. So we want to keep our shoulders, everything in alignment. Don't bring those shoulders up into those ears. Really relax everything down. And circle, 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 circle. You got it. Little circles. Make sure those hips are tucked. Make sure your back is nice and flat. Good. Reverse your circle. Circle, 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 circle. This is a nice little break for our thighs. Here we go. For three, two, one. Take the arms. You're going to bend them 90 degrees. You're going to marry everything together. So I want you to think about zipping up from the elbow to the palms, the fatty palms of the arms. Everything's right in front of you. I'm going to go sideways. We're going to lift, 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 lift. Squeeze that chest. Lift, 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 lift. You got it. Breathe. Don't let that skin come apart. So you have skin to skin contact here. Everything's touching. Work those shoulders. Hold it here. We're going to straighten and bend. Straighten, bend, straighten, bend. So where are those arms? You want to keep everything nice and level. Squeeze. Pretend that you have three or five pound dumbbells in your hand. Squeezing that muscle. Hold it here. Bring everything back again. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze those arms together. Squeeze those palms together. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a quick little stretch. You can bring your right elbow bended. Taking your left hand, bring those right fingers to the shoulder blades. And cross them over when you're ready. All right, we're going to give our shoulders a little break before we go into some serious little plank work. Grab a sip if you need it. All right, so we're going to lay on when you're ready. You're going to lay on your right side. We want to make sure that the elbow is underneath that shoulder. And a lot of times I find we start to collapse. We kind of bring that right side of our body down into the mat. I want you to think about pressing away from the mat. Pressing that shoulder away from the ear. It's like a geometry lesson since all our kids are online right now for school. So we're doing the same. We're learning shape. So it's all about making the shape. You want to have this nice triangle here. As soon as you start to collapse, you've lost your triangle. So it's really important to keep pressing away from the mat, pulling that belly in. Now, normally you have a band. There's no band today. So we're going to take our knees and we're going to bring our feet, not knee, off the ground. All right? Holding here, we clamshell open and close. Open. Try not to collapse backwards. It's really important using that hand to keep you nice and grounded. Pressing this loose left hand into the mat for balance. Pull that belly to the spine. Try not to collapse. So we're just working that little sides of the thigh, corner of our seat here. You could always modify if you just had enough, and you want to bring both feet to the mat, the knees to the mat. You can keep your knees to the mat. Michelle's going to show the modified version. I'm going to stay up here in the challenge. Woohoo! Hang in there, guys. You're doing great. Here we go. For four, for three, for two, and one. Let that right knee come down. Keep those legs. So take at least a long vertical fist between your knees. I want you to think there's hot lava here. The coronavirus is cycling between our knees. We don't want it to touch. Probably not even a good joke. Anyway, flex that top foot. We want to make sure we're not knocking here yet, okay? So we want to make sure everything is nice and level, keeping that ankle in line with that knee. Flex the foot. Lift, lift. Where's our lift coming from? Not that foot. Put your energy on this outside corner of the seat, outside of the thigh. This is where the thigh is causing that foot to jump. Small little movements here. 
You can put, I want everybody to take your left hand and put your left hand on that side of your seat. See if you can feel that little muscle working. That's where the movement is coming from. Really important here, pull that belly back into the spine. Try not to collapse forward, press away from the mat. We don't want to lose our form here. Holding here. We have no band, so we're holding everything just a little bit longer than normal. You got it. We want to get to that exhaustion point where everything is just burning. So good. Hang in there. How you guys doing? I wish I could read your comments from here. I can't see it. Thank you so much for being with me. I'm so grateful for everybody supporting the studio over the last year. I wanted to give back to all of you who have given so much to me and my family this year. So hang in there. Here we go. Take that leg. Straighten it. So we want to make sure that we have knee over knee, flexing the foot as we lift, 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 lift. So you can see Michelle's already taken a modification. If you find it's just too much on your shoulder, you could always straighten that bottom arm, resting that head on top of it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'd rather have you do that than start to collapse your triangle here. Here we go. Lift, burn, baby, burn. I got that disco inferno song in my head. <laughs> aging myself. <laughs> lift, lift, lift. Hold it here. Take those toes to the face, curled. So try to keep yourself in the face with those toes. Here we go. Press that foot forward. You're literally trying to kick your own face with those toes. Your top knee is in head up in front of that bottom knee. Kick it forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, not done. Two, bend and stretch. So think about a bend in the knee and you're kicking all of that energy out through that top heel. Bend and stretch. I see little hearts. So who's under sending hearts? Hearts back to you. <laughs> for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stretch. Some scum. Take that top leg, find your pretzel, cross it over the bottom right. Hug oh, that knee in with that right crook of the elbow. Bringing that knee in. Hallelujah. Wait for the punch. It's coming. <laughs> so for my massage therapist friend, Michelle, if you're watching, I know that this is normal We're and actually watching. helps. Yes. So hopefully Michelle is with us too. There you go. So get that knee in. Breathe. Awesome. You guys are doing great this morning. So I'm going to have these videos available for you. We're going to continue to record and stream. Um, if you can, watch it live. I'm going to still make them available on demand. We're trying to keep everybody sane and healthy. All right. Ready, girl? Ready. Round two. Let's go. So we're going to lay on the left side. Look, you already did it on the right. You totally got this on the left, right? We know we can do it. We've done it together. So figure out where your form is first. We want to make sure that shoulder is in line with that elbow. Pressing away from the mat. It's so important to have this really nice, I'm going to kick this, to have this really nice triangle here. Bring those knees in, tuck the hips under, pull the belly to the spine. If you want to modify, you're going to keep the bottom leg on the mat. If you want the challenge, let's get it up. Here we go. Open and close. Open and close. So if you find yourself falling backwards, I'd rather have you go ahead and put that leg down. Or really just use those fingertips to keep you balanced and keep you upright. A little more challenging to stay here, right? So if you need to take that second to come down, regain balance, go ahead and take it. It's all good. Try to stay in the most challenging pose. Don't just give up quickly. Really find it. So um, Michelle gave a, a little practice class for me in the aerial swings. And what was her quote? If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So why are you here this morning? Take the challenge. Do what you can. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop that left knee to the floor if it's not there. Keep the big space. We don't want those knees to touch. Flex that foot. Make sure that you're pressing away from the mat. Make sure you have that little pelvic tilt. Moving from the side corner here. So put your hand on the outside right pocket of your seat. So on this outside of the thigh, this is what is working. You should feel that muscle engaging. The foot is just a hitchhiker along for the ride. We 
We want to move from the corner here. We want to move from that space we're working, not the foot. Okay? You can even shake out your foot. If you don't want to flex it, shake it out. Right? No energy at all in that foot. And I promise you should immediately feel that space working because the foot is no longer leading the move. Lift, lift, lift. That's what I'm doing. I'm shaking out my foot. It's not flexed or pointed. It's just a hitchhiker. Hang in there. Don't lose your form. Keep those shoulders away from the ears and don't forget to breathe. Lift, lift. You're almost out. You can do this. You totally got this. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Straighten that leg. Continue lift, lift. So keep the knees in line with the other. Keep that belly pulled back. We want to keep that core engaged. If at any time, you can always go down like Michelle, down on that arm. Fight for height, fight for your best form. You can do this. Lift, lift, lift. Again, if you find that your foot is leading the way, shake it out, not flexed or pointed, leading from this outside seat. Here we go. For eight, seven, two more changes. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Now flex those toes, kick your face. Forward, forward, forward. Don't let those knees touch. No skin to skin contact. We're keeping our social distancing with our knees. Lots of space here. Here we go. For eight, seven, last change coming and you're out. In five, four, three, two, one. Bend and stretch. So think about having a little bend in that knee and you're kicking all of the energy out through that top heel. For four, three, Two and one. You made it. All right, let's take that pretzel stretch. Take that right leg. Bring it around and across the left using the crook of that left elbow. Bring it down. Michelle has one leg straight. You can absolutely, for some of us that don't have knees as healthy as the other, you can always keep one leg straight when you cross if this is too much pressure on that bottom bent knee. Ah, you want to punch it out? Hang in there. Don't quit. You got it. Great. One more inhale. One more exhale. Grab a quick sip if you need it. Getting ready to challenge and change. All right, let's get back to some core. Let's get back to some plank work here. So we're going to work on some side work. Normally, you know I'm much more regimented and we save core for the end. I'm going to keep building things in, keeping your body guessing at where we're going to be, giving our shoulders and our thighs a little break in between. And that way you also don't know what's coming and it's going to keep your mind more engaged and our bodies guessing of what the next activity is. So, Michelle is going to stay in the modified version. You're going to come on your knees. You're going to bring your forearms down to your back. You're going to clasp your hands together and you're going to walk yourself back if you're here. Tuck your hips under. If you want the full extension, Full extension. You're going to come up into your full plank. I'm off my mat. Here we go. I want you just to dip your hips to the left, back to center. So left and center. Left and center. Michelle, I know your back doesn't love me sometimes, so if you need a modified gal or stop, you do it. Here we go for four. For three, pull that belly to the spine. Keep that back nice and flat. Come to center, dip to the right and center. Right and center. Your body. Here we go. For five, we're going to skip the center in three, in two, and one. Here we go. We're going to go left to right, left to right, left to right. Keep that belly pulling into the spine. Protect that back. Shoulders pressed away from the ears on the mat. We're not collapsing here. Nice, strong forearms. Five, four, three, two. Hold your plank. Hold. 20 seconds. Take your knees in front of your mat. Chin away from the chest. Pull that belly into that spine. Hold, hold, hold. For 10, 9, 8. You've got it. Come on, guys. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I want you to press back into a quick down dog. So curl those toes under. Chest is going towards the thighs. Slow down your breathing. We got one more round here. Breathe. Exhale, come 
come into play. Try to take the full version here. If you need to modify and go in your forearms, try to take your full plank. Here we go. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. Take the right knee to the left elbow. Hold. Foot back. Left knee to the right elbow. Hold. Press back. Here we go. In hold. Back. In freeze. Back. In hold. Back. In freeze. Back. For five. You got it. Hang in there. For four. Three. For three. Tabletop, come into your bridge. 
You can stay here, or you can straighten that leg, point the toe, square our hips, squeeze the right cheek to get that toe to kiss your ceiling. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You totally got this. Keep those shoulders down. Keep the chin away from the chest. Keep everything nice and elongated, squeezing that right seat. Try to keep this leg nice and straight. If you find you're starting to collapse, you can bring it to a tabletop. Keep those hips nice and square. Squeeze the seat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Table the leg, bring everything down, relax the back. Tuck those hips under, just keep that back flat on the mat for one more breath. Exhale, press back into your bridge. I want you to think about circling the hips. Circle, circle. Tucking the pelvis at 12 o'clock. Really finding that nice pelvic lift. Circle, squeezing the seat to the midline as you rotate and find that 12. Circle, 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 circle. For eight, six, five, two away from the chest, three, two, one, reverse your circle. Really finding that nice high pelvic tilt, squeezing everything up, those cheeks engaged as you rotate to the center. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the back, hug the knees into the chest. You can roll those shoulders around. We have another change here before we go back to forward. Light grip behind the knees and roll yourself up. If you need to take a quick sip, take it now. If you're fortunate enough to have a ball at home, by the way, you can totally find these things on Amazon. So if you're looking, they're called playground balls. If you want to get one, you don't have to stay in Studio Blue and get any color that works for you. But you don't need a ball at all for this series. Wherever you are, I'm just going to do it because it keeps me a little more honest too. We're going to come into our tabletop positions. We want to make sure that the wrists are underneath those shoulders. If you have a ball, I'm gonna show with the ball, Michelle's gonna show without it. Wherever you are, wrap those elbows in and press away from the mat. We don't wanna collapse here. Everything is nice and long. Rest that right arch on the mat. Take the left foot up. Point your toe, where are your hips? You may have to bring that right hip back a little bit to keep it nice and square. Look ahead, keep the chin away from the chest. Squeeze the toes to the sky by squeezing the left seat. Press, 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 press. So small motion here. We're not, this is not what I want to see. I can't see you. But I don't want to see this, okay? This is not helping you. You're using this outside of the seat where the top of the thigh meets that base of your tush right there. That's where we're pressing from. Squeeze, squeeze. So your foot is barely moving. It's only moving because we're really squeezing that seat to get the foot to rise. Press, 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 press. Breathe. Be mindful of your hips. Are they like headlights to those space in front of you? Are you pulling that belly to the spine, keeping everything nice and engaged? For eight, seven, getting ready to change here. In four, three, two, one. I want you to scoop and round your knee to the nose. Exhale, press everything away. So inhale, scoop and round. Exhale, toe to the sky. So slow the movement down, slow and controlled. You got it. Remember, as you hear me say, it's not a race. We're not trying to do everything fast. Everything is mindful. Control, slow. Don't let momentum take you. Really be mindful of where you are. Good. This time, instead of pointing the toe, flex that foot. Press. Press. Push your shoulders away from the ears. Don't put those palms flat on the mat. Make sure you have a little yoga grip, little air space running between those fingers and palm. Seat is burning. Change is coming. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take the knee and we're going to curtsy. So you're going to tap outside of that right leg and back. So tap and back. Cross, tap, cross, tap, cross, tap, cross, tap for eight, seven, six, five, four, almost done, three, two, and one. All right. Round two. No rest for the weary. I promise we'll stretch when we're done with this here. So we're going to find the other side. You want 
shoulders, taking the left arch to the mat. Where are our hips? You're probably going to have to bring that left hip back. Pull the belly to the spine. Get those toes to the sky. Bend that heel. Here we go. Squeezing the right seat to get those toes to kiss the sky. Small movements, guys. Make sure, again, where our fingers have a little yoga grip here. We don't want those palms flat on that. Protect those wrists. I want to fly and flow with you for a long time, so we want to keep all of our joints healthy. Keep those wrists protected. How are you feeling with that bone, Michelle? You feeling it? Yes. All right. So keep that knee 90 degrees. So think about, can you get that heel a little closer to your seat in this motion? I know some of you, most of you don't have that ball. Pretend that you do. Squeeze that calf towards that hamstring. Keep that foot 90 degrees. All right. Where's our belly? Is it pulling into the spine? Are our shoulders away from the ears? Breathe. Each 
turn forward, turn your toes out 45 degrees. Pull the belly to the spine, come into our version of ragdoll here. So legs are wide, toes are turned out. Keeping the belly pulling to the spine, scooping and rounding, letting the head hang heavy, shaking tension out. You always have the option if you want to take your hands and grab the outside arches. You can roll the pinky toes off the mat, coming onto the inner arches here. Wherever you are, the wider your feet, the lower your head can go to the mat. Just don't force it. Listen to where your body is today, right? Some days we're more flexible than others. Bringing the fingers to the mat. I want you to heel toe the feet so they're hip distance apart. Bend the knees, chin to chest, slowly scoop it around. One vertebrae right head is the last to lift. Ah, just close the eyes. You're going to feel that blood flow when you're upside down for a while. Just let that blood flow re regulate. Slow your breathing. And we're going to get it right back up now. Here we go. So go ahead and have a seat on your mat. Just a few more minutes of core and we are done. So, if you have a light weight at home, you can take it. If you want to take that ball or that towel and you feel like you need it here, you can take it. We're going to take our feet hip distance apart. We're going to pull the belly back into the spine. Take the light grip behind the knees and roll yourself back until you feel your core engage. So we're not way back here. You're putting too much strain on your back. We're just coming to feel that core engage. And if you have a ball, or I'm going to pretend I have a weight, you could hold it. If you have a ball or something, you could squeeze it. We're going to rotate, and we're going to simply, I'm going to go forward so you all can see me. You can see Michelle from the side. We're going to twist to the right. We're going to twist and center. Twist, center. Twist, center. Twist, center. So in the studio, we start to do these little row motions. That's what's coming. We have three, two, and one. Back to center. Left, center. Left, center, left. So finding that nice twist on the side, banishing them up and top, working the side of the seat. Make sure those hips stay tough. We want to protect our backs. For three, we're going to lose this in a minute. Here we go. We're going to go right to left, right to left. Really pull that belly down to the mat, guys. Protect that back, tuck those hips. Here we go. Right, left. Right, left, right. You want a challenge? You can either continue staying here or bring those knees and table top. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, roll back, release your back, give your back a break. I know Michelle is happy. Relax your back. All right, so take your toes long and take your hands long behind you. We're gonna do it as we do here, our forward count combo. So taking the hands and the feet in opposite direction, I want you to take four counts. We're gonna exhale to tabletop, hold. You can continue holding here or you can straighten Bend down two, three, four. Chin chest X. Two straight three. Bend four down one, two, three, four. Exhale up. Straighten. Bend. So if you want to stay in tabletop, stay in tabletop. I don't want you to throw the back up. We're using our core to be able to get to this point. Here we go. Up. Two straight three. Bend four. Down, two, three, four, two more. Up, straighten, bend. Come on, guys. Last one. Here we go. I'm going to reverse. Woo -hoo. Down, two, three, four. All right, flip on your belly. I want you to take your feet wider than your mat. Take your hands, cross your palms. So rest your palms on the mat. Rest your forehead on the mat, chin away from the chest. We're going to take those nice legs wider than your mat, and we're going to lift, lift, lift. So I want you to think about pressing the tail, pressing that pelvic bone into the mat, using the seat to get the thighs off the mat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, press the feet. Using your exhale, you take the chest up. We go lift, 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 lift. Keep the chin away from the chest. For four, three, two, one. Press the head. Bring the heels to the seat. See if you can take a bind, taking the hands on the outside of the arches. On your next exhale, whoo, exhale. Can you get the thighs off the mat? Get that chest off the mat. Come on, you got this. Just hold for eight, seven, you got it. Six, five, four, three, two, release. Press back to down dog. Woohoo, you made it. Chest to the thighs. Breathe. Today's Wednesday, right? Today's Wednesday. So normally you would have Sahara's area of art class, but we get to play here this way instead. You can come up on your toes, you can pedal out the leg, listen to where your body wants to be. Pressing away from the mat with the hands, bringing the chest a little closer to the thighs, scoop out that belly. Thank mm -hmm. you. 